Hello and welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how to set up Nginx reverse proxy on Ubuntu hosted on Google Cloud Platform. So, click the link in the description box for this particular image from the Google Marketplace. And then you want to create a new virtual machine with this image installed inside it. And for that, simply click on launch. And then you will be taken to this page where you can customize your virtual machine. So, give your virtual machine a name. Select the zone or region where you want to deploy it. I'm going to go with Europe. And then if you scroll down, you can allocate the disk size to this virtual machine. So choose the disk size according to your requirement and then scroll down and click on accept the agreement and click on deploy. And then you have to wait for the virtual machine to be deployed. And while it is deploying, click the link in the description box to come to this particular blog post, which is a step by step guide on how to set up Nginx server on Ubuntu on Azure AWS and GCP. Once the deployment is complete, you can connect to this virtual machine's SSH terminal by clicking this button that says SSH. This would open up the SSH terminal in a new window. And while it is opening up the SSH terminal, I am going to come back to my Google Cloud and I am going to click on this hamburger icon, scroll down, go to Compute Engines and select VM Instances. And from here, I am going to scroll a little right, copy this IP address and paste it inside a new tab. So you can see that our Nginx is running on our web server, but it is not redirecting us to anything. So we want to configure our reverse proxy so that when we visit this IP address or maybe when we visit the IP address on port number 80, it redirects us to some different website. So I'm going to head back to my SSH terminal and from here I want to head inside the folder where I have installed my Nginx. So the command is cd forward slash etc forward slash Nginx. And from here, I want to head inside the directory, which is the configuration directory. So first, let's see if our directory exists or not by typing in the command ls. As you can see that we have a directory named as conf.d. So cd conf.d. And I'm going to type the command ls once more to see if there are any configuration files within this directory. And there are no configuration files. So I'm going to create a new configuration file using the command sudo nano. And then I'm going to give it a file name, let's say google.conf meaning Google configuration. So basically what I want to do within this configuration file is that I want to redirect clients coming at port number 80 of my virtual machine's public IP to google.com. So for that, I'm going to type in a little script, which is server, then a pair of curly brackets. And then in here, I'm going to type in the keyword listen, and I'm going to type in port number 80 and a semicolon. Then I want to type listen and then space and then a pair of square brackets and within those square brackets I'm going to put two columns and then after the square bracket I'm going to put another column and type in the port number 80 and finish it off with a semicolon. Lastly I'm going to type in the keyword server underscore name and in here I'm going to pass in the IP address of my virtual machine. So the IP address of my virtual machine is this one. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it inside my configuration file. So let me just remove these HTTP keywords. And at the end, I'm going to place a semicolon. And lastly, I want to pass in the URL where I want the clients to be redirected to. So for that, we have the keyword location space forward slash space a pair of curly brackets. So in here, we have the keyword proxy underscore pass and then followed up by the URL where you want to redirect the people to. You can even redirect people to a local host or a server running at your local host inside this particular Ubuntu. But I want to redirect people to google.com. And then I'm going to finish it off with a semicolon. Once you are done with this script, simply press Ctrl plus O to write to the file and Ctrl plus X to exit the file. And then what you want is that you want to restart the engine X. But before that, you need to make sure that the configuration files are working. So for that, we have the command sudo engine X space hyphen T and hit enter. So as you can see, the configuration file test is successful. So now to reload, type in the command sudo engine X space hyphen S space reload and hit enter. And now basically you're done with the reverse proxy setting for Nginx. Now the only thing that is left to do is to test out this reverse proxy. So I'm going to copy this IP address. I'm going to open up a new tab, paste this copy address at port number 80 and hit enter. So as you can see that I was taken to google.com, but the URL was still the same as the IP address of my virtual machine. So we have successfully set up our reverse proxy 
using nginx on ubuntu so if you have any queries regarding this tutorial leave them in the comment box and if this video was helpful then leave a like and subscribe to the channel and lastly check out the description for the links for the marketplace listing of this nginx reverse proxy image and also for the blog post which is a step by step guide on how to set up nginx server on ubuntu on azure aws and gcp on our website cloud infrastructure services